welcome back today um, let's learn about why we use the first gear of a car while starting the vehicle or while driving an uphill or why actually we uh, use the final gear while driving a highway so before getting to that you should know the relation between the car gear change the torque of the engine and the rpm of the engine now let's see uh, why we use the first gear when we start a car or driving an uphill while starting a car we need the maximum torque because the vehicle is at rest or the four wheels are at rest so there is a resistance maximum resistance so when we start the engine engine required to produce that much amount of torque so that we can start these wheels to rotate and also in uphill or so it's the same situation happening so we need maximum torque and the engine delivers the maximum torque at the first gear and the minimum speed at the first gear so we need maximum torque so maximum torque is our requirement when we start a vehicle or drive an uphill that's why we select the first gear which delivers the maximum torque while starting a car or driving an uphill and when we drive a highway what happens is that the resistance is minimum because we are going at a very high speed the wheels are already rotating we need the maximum speed and the torque requirement is very less uh, because it's already rotating so what we can do is we select the final gear when we drive uh, a highway we go normally go from one two three to four or fifth gear if it is available so that uh, it delivers a minimum torque and maximum speed can be achieved so minimum torque means the fuel economy will be much higher and the speed of the vehicle will be at its maximum so the torque requirement is very less when we drive a highway that's why we select the final gear so what is rpm rpm is simply the revolutions per minute that's simply the frequency of rotation or speed that is the speed of when an engine at one minute that is rpm and what is torque it is the amount of rotational power that means the force or energy required for an engine to create these revolutions okay so that's the torque that's the force required okay so i believe it's clear to you for more technical videos please subscribe to us and please rate us by clicking the like button or dropping a comment. Thanks for watching.